this is Bruno with a new segment called 10 minutes or less with Bruno no BS. A very simple casual interview, no fancy cameras. Today I have the honor to speak with Corey from Charles Ants Roofing. How you doing? Good, how are you? So far so good. Uh, actually, I say fancy camera, but today I do have a fancy camera and I have a, like kind of like a live interview, you know, so <laughs> it's a little bit different because most of my interviews are Zoom meetings. You know, but today is something special because I'm with Charles Ants at Ants Roofing. How long have you been in the roofing industry? Uh, I've been with Antos for a little over six years. So this was your first job in the roofing industry? Yeah, I, I was still in marketing in the construction industry before for eight years and this is the first time in the roofing industry. Okay, do you feel like that would be your final career? Oh. I mean, I hope so. I don't want to go anywhere else. <laughs> What is your job functions to this company? Marketing manager. So I see all overall the marketing, um, branding, or events. I oversee all of that. Is there hard to uh, separate business and family? I, I don't know. Are you married? You having kids? No. Oh, okay, so it's a good thing, right? Because then I <laughs> work with Charles. You know, he's a everywhere pretty yes. much. You know, doing so many stuff. So it kind of occupies you a lot, right? It keeps me busy. How do you feel like working for such a big company like Charles Ants? Well, I think it's it's a lot of fun, um, especially being in marketing, because it's always something new and different. And you know, he's a marketing focused boss owner, um, which is very rare. And you know, he's open to that creativity, so it makes it fun for somebody in marketing. Okay. So, what do you see for the future of our industry? For you know, for the people coming up right now, you know, uh, young people. You know, the new generation that they can't find a job and they maybe they're looking for something else. You think roofing will be a career for them? I, I mean, it's a growing industry. I mean, the technology is changing, even with every, you know, how things are right now. Everybody's adjusting to the times and, you know, getting more creative um, in terms of, you know, I'm pretty much sure, you know, in a, you never thought in a million years to work for a roofing company, yeah, right? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, so things change, right? You know, yeah. there's young people that come in our industry not knowing that there's other things other than, because you know, when you're thinking about roofing, you're thinking about being in the sun, you know, working hard, kind of the same thing when you work in a landscape or working in any other trade. Yeah. But there's way much more. You can work for manufacturers, you can work for a roofing contractor, you can work for a, 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 as a consultant. So there are many jobs that is not necessarily a uh, physical, but right. it, it, you do need to use a lot of your brain, you know, and I'm sure you right. use a lot of your brain. Yes. Charles pick your brain a lot for the marketing, <laughs> right? Because he does a, a good job in marketing. Charles mentioned to me that you're gonna become, or you are part of the National Women in Roofing. Yes. So, what are your functions with this great organization? Uh, well, Susan DeGrassi and I are speaking on a panel in a couple months, and we're going to be talking about cause marketing and what we've been doing here at Antifs. A few years ago, you didn't hear much about those type of association because it predominant, you know, this interest is men. Yeah. You know, and now you see more space. You see that growing, growing? I do. I see a lot more women involved, um, not just here at Antis, but in the, you know, across the country. There are roofing companies, manufacturers. Um, there's so many more women getting involved. Any message out there for the people watching this video? It could be towards the COVID-19, because COVID-19 now is the top of everything. Yeah, don't be afraid to get creative and change up what you're doing. Um, you know, we changed up what we were doing in the community. We never thought we'd be addressing the food insecure and helping the frontline workers. And now this gave us an opportunity to help all those people. We've been partnering with Wahoo's Fish Tacos and Monster and Hint Water and Yogurt Land. And we've been delivering food and drinks and essential items to all the frontline workers that are helping all those people in need. So it's a way for us to give back to them. We've been partnering with Second Harvest Food Bank um, and joining their truck brigade to deliver food to those in need that need it most. Well, I think you guys are doing a great job, you know, and you also even have the donate blood thing that you guys didn't have uh, a yes. few months ago, right? We're on our 13th blood drive today, which you helped donate. 
and each pint of blood will help save up to three lives. So we're almost up to a thousand lives. So. That's great, incredible. In case anybody watching this wants to donate blood, what do they need to do? They need to go to the American Red Cross uh, website, um, redcross.org, and they can make an appointment online. Um, they can just go to the date and they'll find the Antis Roofing location and make an appointment online and okay. show up and donate. Well, thank you so much. It was okay. a pleasure speaking with you. Thank Next you. time in California, we're going to grab lunch together. Bruno made blood! Yeah. Bruno made blood today! Yeah, 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 I, I did it. Thanks to Corey. Thank <laughs> you. Bye bye.